Hey beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nadia. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys six safe blind buys. Now these are my opinion. In my opinion, these are six safe blind buys for the feminine woman, for the girly woman, for the woman that does not want like really, really strong fragrances, but you want something that projects well, something that's long lasting, something that smells very very pretty something that you will always smell really good and feel really feminine wearing they can be worn day night date work bed however these scents are really 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 universal like i feel like all six of these you can wear them anywhere really so it kind of makes it easy that you won't be buying your perfumes and wasting them or be confused on where you can wear them or if they're appropriate so we're gonna jump right into the first one. The first one I feel like everyone has by now, this is Carolina Herrera. This is Good Girl. Okay, so this, this is the one that I have. This bottle is the one that looks black, but if you look closely or if it hits the right light or you, it's blue. It's a very, very, very dark blue. Um, looks like that gold heel, you know, most of us have seen these by now at least one of the flankers from this because it is so many of them this is the one that i chose because it's not like there's one that has glitter on it that one smells really really good and it but it kind of i think i feel like it's stronger than this one but like i said these are all safe blind by scents that one i don't feel like is a safe blind by although it smells really really good but this one is a safe blind by very oh my god it smells so freaking good it is very very soft so the notes on the one that i have this one was launched in 2016 uh, the top notes are almond coffee bergamot and lemon middle notes are tuberose jasmine sambac orange blossom oris and bulgarian rose base notes are tonka bean cacao vanilla praline sandalwood musk amber cashmere wood cinnamon patchouli and cedar that is the reason why I love this so much. I love the smell of almond in my fragrances. And it is literally the first note in this. Like me sniffing the bottle right here, that's what I smell. If you're not an almond fan, then I don't feel like you would care for this one. But like, I, but like the video is titled, I feel like this one is a safe blind buy for everyone. This is such a beautiful fragrance. It's been out for a while, as you guys can see. It came out in 2016. This one, along with the other five that I have here, none of these I feel like are like really overpowering fragrances. Like I said, you can wear these anywhere. I can see you wearing these to bed, to work, to the gym, like wherever the case is that you end up. Any one of these you can grab and be safe wearing them. So that's the first one. So the main accords are sweet, white, floral, warm, spicy, vanilla, cacao, amber, tuberose, woody, almond, powdery. <sighs> smells so good okay so the next one is Paco Rabone Fame I got the small bottle in this that's why it is the clear one but you guys this smells so good so 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 good they did so first of all look at the bottle it is super cute if anything I know you're not gonna waste your money like that but it's really really cute to have it sitting on display with the rest of your fragrances but the notes on Paco Rabone Fame, this was launched in 2022. Um, top notes are mango and bergamot. This does not have a lot of notes in it. Middle notes are jasmine and olibanum. <laughs> Base notes are vanilla and sandalwood. This is such, it's such a feminine fragrance. Like, so, 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 so feminine. Now this one, I'm not gonna lie. There are certain places I don't feel like I would wear this to because I feel like it would be a waste. So this one you would be more picky on where you want to wear this. Like I wouldn't wear this to bed or to the gym or anywhere like this. Like I would definitely wait to wear this out. Like I would have to have a destination to wear this. Even if I was wearing it to work, this just wouldn't be one that I would grab just to wear anywhere. Okay? So the main accords are tropical fruity vanilla sweet woody powdery white floral amber turpinic warm spicy y'all it's so cute 
all of these perfumes that I'm going over today have their own dedicated videos, but I wanted to specifically come on here, like I said, so that you guys will know a group of safe blind buys, um, in my opinion, like I said, that would be, I feel like, okay, for anybody to hit add to cart, put your card in, and hit continue and confirm. Okay. <laughs> so it's really, really nice. It is a really nice fragrance. Let me Next up on the list is Mont Blanc Signature. Now, this perfume had me kind of confused for a long time because if you're familiar with the things on my channel when it comes to fragrance, you know that I am not a vanilla girl. And this right here screams vanilla, but it also screams I'm vanilla, but I'm a good vanilla. This smells so, so, so good. I feel like it can be worn anywhere. So it is definitely a blind by safe perfume. Can be worn anywhere and I feel like it can be mixed with so many different fragrances to bring this one out more or to bring the other fragrance out more. Whichever one you're trying to do depending on your sprays. This, for me to buy a vanilla fragrance, you know it, well y'all don't know, but I know. I know it has to smell good for me to buy a vanilla fragrance because like I said, I'm not a vanilla girl. Never have been. But if they heat, if they start to smell like this one, then I would be okay with being a vanilla girl because this one is a very well done vanilla. So this is actually, I say vanilla, an amber floral fragrance. Um, this was launched in 2020. The top notes are clementine, Middle notes are magnolia, ylang ylang, and peony. Base notes are vanilla, white musk, and benzoin. So it's crazy that the vanilla is in the base notes, but that's the most prominent note to me. Another thing, I love peony. Anything that has peony in it, I normally tend to lean towards it. So this one, y'all, is such a good scent. Safe blind buy. It can be worn anywhere, like I said before such a good scent okay so main accords are vanilla floral musky citrus sweet powdery yellow floral and amber I don't feel like you can go wrong with this one like I said if I'm willing to spend my money on a vanilla scent you know that it is a great vanilla scent I passed this scent up on the cruise that I was on in January and was like I just don't know like I want to like it but I'm not a vanilla girl so it kept me, but I but months later, it was like, okay, Nadia, just get the perfume. Because you have not stopped thinking about it since you smelled it on the cruise. I saw that it was popular, so when I saw the bottle, I was like, oh, let me smell that. Saw that it was vanilla, I'm like, of course, it's vanilla. Women love vanilla, men love vanilla. But I just was not a vanilla girl. But this one is a definite yes. Yes, 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 yes. Next up on the list is Jimmy Choo, I Want You Forever. <laughs> This one, you guys, <clears throat> so when the first one came out, I really wasn't a fan. I don't know if I had COVID nose. I don't know what was wrong with me, but I really, really, I wasn't a fan. When I smelled it, it smelled horrible. I don't know why. I can't explain it, but I waited. Actually, I got, went back and smelled it after I got this one because I just couldn't wrap my head around why I didn't like that one so much, but love this one. And when I went back to smell that one, it kind of smells very, I mean, of course, they're in the, they're the same house, but they smell very, very close. So I was like, I don't know what I was smelling when I smelled that one. I don't know, but I did not like it. This one, I absolutely love, can be worn anywhere. Again, I don't know if you want to waste it wearing it certain places like the bed, but can be worn anywhere. This isn't just like, I'm going to spray myself and go, well, some women do that. So if that's your thing then that's your thing i'm not trying to count your money your coins your perfumes or nothing but i wear it to bed unless i'm trying to feel pretty <laughs> or cute or whatever the case may be but jimmy Choo, i want you is a floral fruity gourmand fragrance for women this one was launched in 2022 um the top notes are rose and bitter almond as y'all can see i love almond fragrance i love the scent of almond so anytime a fragrance has almond in it, I tend to lean towards it because I can smell the almond in it. Middle notes are cherry, vetiver, and jasmine. Base notes are vanilla, tonka bean, oak moss, and amber. Hugh was like, Mama, for you not to like vanilla fragrances, a lot of your fragrances have vanilla in them. I noticed that. 
but it's just the cheap smelling vanilla scents that I guess have always turned me away from vanilla because I you you won't catch me buying a vanilla body spray <laughs> and smell one that's good enough now if I can find one that's good enough like the scent smells good then I would but I have yet to find one that makes me just want to jump on it and spend my money on it so but the bottle is super cute but <laughs> that ain't why you're here but yes I really 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 enjoy this I honestly wish I would have gotten a bigger bottle because when I got it I kept it in my purse for a while and I was spraying it like a crazy person and I pulled it out of my purse because within days of course they don't fill it up to the top anyways but within days I had gotten it down to here and I was like if I leave it in there another week or two I was just gonna be out of it because I was spraying it and mixing it with everything it smells that good I honestly feel like you can't go wrong with any of these on this list oh god it's such a beautiful scent okay so let me give you guys the main accords Vanilla, sweet, cherry, almond, rose, nutty, amber, earthy, fruity, aromatic. I love this, okay? If you're a fan of Jimmy Choo and you do not have Jimmy Choo, I want you forever. Like I said, these are my opinions. Safe blind buys. None of them are overpowering. None of them have any funky notes in there that are going to stand out and just seem extreme or anything like that. They're really, I feel like they're really safe blind buys for any feminine woman. Next up on the list is Killian Princess. Okay, I started off with a small travel size spray of this. My friend sent me the travel size so that I could smell it because she felt like I would enjoy it as a fragrance. I ended up enjoying it so much that I sprayed that one up so fast and had to go buy my own bottle. So of course I got the bigger bottle, should have gotten the biggest bottle. I don't think this is the biggest. Now this is a 1.7. This it's a lovely fragrance. It's almost like I want to tell y'all if y'all don't get anything. No, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I'm, def I'm definitely not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. So act like you didn't hear me say that, okay? <laughs> but, so, um, let me give you guys the notes on this. This is an amber. So maybe it's the amber vanilla fragrances that I love when it comes to vanilla because oh my god okay an amber vanilla fragrance for women and men this is a unisex scent very surprised by that um i don't need a prince by my side to be a princess was launched in 2018 the top note is lemon middle notes are green tea ginger peach hedion jasmine and apple base notes are marshmallow vanilla and benzoin <sighs> this is such a yummy gourmand fragrance it is it literally just makes you want to get ate up it smells so freaking good it is sweet it, the marshmallow is prominent in it too you can smell that in it even though it's one of the base notes it sticks out to me like a sore thumb but i love it this is like i said i went from the small bottle to this bottle this is a fragrance i feel like when I had that one, I was spraying it under every single perfume I was wearing. I was spraying it by itself. I would spray it on first and then spray whatever scent I was wearing with it because it smells that good. And it mixed so well with my body chemistry. It brought out a lot of the sweetness in the perfume, which I really, really loved. This is one of those fragrances that you want to keep in your purse like every single day because no matter what you're doing, where you're going, it would definitely fit in with the occasion like if you were running out running out to have run errands and you're like oh I want to hit myself before I go inside of here oh I want to hit myself before I go to that's how I am I will spray myself just randomly so that I can have a fresh walkthrough scent when I'm going in somewhere this is one of the scents that if you don't mind keeping multiple perfumes in your purse <laughs> I don't mind as long as I have the space for it and I can separate them so the way they're not clacking all the time but this is definitely one that I the only reason I don't keep it in my purse all the time right now is because I like to keep my shelf full minus the fragrance that I'm wearing that day and I like the way it looks when it's sitting up there other than that this is a fragrance that I would keep in my purse because you can wear it anywhere anytime it's definitely a 
this is how Nadia smells scent. You know, everybody wants to have their signature scent. Like when they get a whiff of a scent, they automatically think about you. That's the kind of scent this is. This is something that every time someone smells it, they're like, oh dang, that smells like Nadia. That's what Princess is giving. This is too, like this fragrance is too good. I love it. It is definitely keep me in your purse 24-7, 365 worthy, okay? The main accords are sweet, vanilla, powdery, warm, spicy, fresh, green, amber, and citrus. So good. Okay, you guys. Last but not least is Nishane 100 Silent Ways. <laughs> I'm not going to hold y'all. This right here is my swag. All the guys on me swag, <laughs> but no, for real. This right here, y'all, knee shame, hundred silent ways. What was I thinking ordering this little bottle? What was I thinking? I had no idea. It was a blind buy, so I didn't know any better. Had I known any better, had I known what I know right now, I would have ordered this in a gallon the biggest bottle that they possibly have. I think they sell this in a 3 or a 3.4 or something like that. That is definitely the size you need to buy when you get this. Not if, not if, but when you get this, get the big bottle. Trust me, this one ounce, 1.7, it just ain't gonna do it. I purposely have not been wearing this because I want to spray this a million times a day when I have this in my purse. I literally want to just keep it on my desk so I can spray it every time I look at it. And I can't be doing that. <laughs> this is what I want my walk by air to smell like. This is what I want my signature scent to smell like. I can mix these two and I think I'd still be happy. That's how much I love them. Y'all, this perfume smells so good. Like I said, this was a blind buy. This was a blind buy that I will never regret because I am so glad I have this in my collection. If you guys can find this, and when I say if, I mean if. Because sometime after I bought this, I don't know where, when, or how, or why, but there was a blow up of this fragrance. And the last time I went and looked for it to call myself getting a backup, it was sold out. And I was like, why? Like, who put it on their video? To blow it up to sell it out like that because I've done a video on it but I ain't big enough to sell out no fragrance like that so somebody with some influence had to put or talk about this this perfume in one of their videos after my video because it, they had plenty of them or they still had them when I ordered them and then after that they were sold out I don't know who the person is but now I can't get another one because you sold it out <laughs> But anyways, so let's talk about the notes. 100 Silent Ways is a fragrance for women and men. This is a unisex scent, y'all, but I can see men wearing this. I, I can see a man wearing this, but it leans more feminine to me. And my body definitely picks up all of the sweet notes in this, so it's very sweet on me. And for those of you that don't like sweet fragrances, most of these smell sweet, but I'm telling you, if you get these, you will like sweet fragrances <laughs> after that. Okay, they smell so good, so feminine. I'm obsessed with this perfume. It's, it's bad, but I am. Um, like I said, this is for men and women. It was launched in 2016. Where was I in 2016? because I was crazy not to have, well, I wasn't buying perfume, perfume like that then because I had so many and I was trying to wear those. I don't know, anyways, it's neither here nor there. Top notes are tuberose, peach and mandarin, orange. Middle notes are gardenia, jasmine and orris. Base notes are vanilla, again, sandalwood and vetiver. So as you can see, I keep saying I don't like vanilla, but vanilla is always a base note in the sense that I get but vanilla is taken over by all of these other fragrances or i'm sorry all of these other notes in the fragrances i absolutely love nishane i don't think i have to 
I feel like I've been clear enough on this part of the video on how much I love Nishane. Nishane has its own dedicated video down on my channel. You can go check that out. You will see even more in that video how much I love Nishane. Nishane is what I want to smell like in my afterlife. Nishane is the perfume I want people to always attach to my name. And y'all might say, Nadia, there are so many perfumes out there that smell so much better than that. That may be the case. But this one right here, for my everyday scent, for like what my skin scent is going to smell like, I want it to smell like Nishane. No doubt in my mind. I'll come back if that changes. <laughs> okay? But as of right now, it's this. Out of all the perfumes I have, it's this one. It's, it's this one. Now, I absolutely love Princess. Let me see, make sure I ain't Confucius. <laughs> oh, I love Princess. Maybe skin scent in the daytime, skin scent in the afternoon. <laughs> they're, they're, I don't know. they just that good. All right, let me give y'all the main accords because I will keep going on and on and on about this. Main accords are white floral, vanilla, powdery, woody, tuberose, fruity, sweet, iris, animalic. And citrus. <sighs> if anybody wants to send me a bottle of their new shame that they don't want, because I, I know y'all want y'all's, you can send it to me and I will love you a long time. I need to get the bigger bottle of this. That's the only sense that it's gonna make. These are two perfumes that I would want to keep in my purse 24-7, but it would make no sense for me to have all this in my per my purse. My purse would be so heavy. <laughs> It would just be, I would be annoyed. But, y'all, it's that good. If you guys want to hear what I have to say about any of these fragrances, like I said, they all have their own dedicated video. If you just look below on my channel, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about these um, being Blind by Safe perfumes. We can chat it up, talk about it. Y'all might have a different opinion for me, but this is my opinion. This is how I feel on these particular fragrances. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video. Before you leave, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.